sandy soils have been a, um, a really big constraint to Mallee farming systems and been working on different aspects of improving um, production of all crops on sandy soils for more than a decade now. In the last couple of years we've had a particular focus on pulses because it's a real constraint to pulse growing in the Mallee is how they perform um, over those um, sand rises and really low production on those sands means that um, we're not only uh, making pulse crops unprof unprofitable on those soil types but we're also not getting those flow on benefits to the rest of the crops that pulses might provide such as um, increased um, nitrogen through end fixation and other things so been looking at a couple of aspects one aspect is looking at how effective are our uh, inoculation strategies on forming nodules on legume roots on these soil types. But the other strategy we're looking at is um, agronomic practices and we've seen um, soil amelioration techniques are having a really big effect on um, the benefits of pulses. And that's not only going to benefit the pulse, but it's also going to benefit how much nitrogen is fixed by that pulse and then how much of that flows through to subsequent crops to improve the farming system as a whole. So our wider research program started um, looking at deep ripping um, about four or five years ago and initially we saw some really good responses out of our cereal crops um, on these constrained sandy soils. In the last two years we've evaluated that technique um, within um, pulse crops and we're finding that um, they're having a proportionally um, probably bigger effect on pulse crops than even our cereal crops. Um, we're seeing for example the last two seasons Lentils being taken from half a ton to one, one and a half ton per hectare, uh, yield increase. And chickpeas have also been another crop um, that's benefited from that ripping procedure quite remarkably. Um, and for two seasons now, we've seen chickpea yields go from half a ton per hectare up as high as two ton per hectare, whether they're ripped or not ripped. So that's a benefit for pulse production and the profitability of those pulses. Um, but it's also going to mean much bigger nitrogen inputs from those crops as well. And so when we look at the advantage that um, some of these ripping benefits are giving, they're not only giving yield benefits, but we're seeing um, up to 100 kilos of, um, per hectare of nitrogen potentially fixed by these crops more. Some of that is obviously being exported in grain yield, but the net benefit might be as high as 50 kilograms of um, nitrogen per hectare extra than what you would have got if you didn't rip. So obviously we can think of that, that as equivalent fertiliser units. That's probably somewhere in the order of 100, 120 kilos of urea going forward that that farmer wouldn't have to put on that paddock because it's going to be supplied um, by that legume crop. So these are sort of some of the, um, the benefits that we might be seeing, um, not just in terms of profitability and productivity, but also long-term farming system benefits um, from this practice.